Alvin's an incredible thing. I mean, it's it's a titanium sphere about, I don't know, eight feet across. You can just about get three people into it. Well, today we're going to dive down to the bottom of the Sierra Cortez, which is 2,000 metres, two kilometres below the surface. Now, as every amateur diver knows, for every 10 metres that you go down, you get an additional one atmosphere of pressure. Here on the Earth's surface now, I'm under a pressure of one atmosphere. If I dive down to 10 metres, which I can almost do holding my breath, then the pressure would be two atmospheres. 20 metres, three atmospheres. 2,000 metres, 200 atmospheres pressure. That's an immense pressure. I'm going to demonstrate that by taking this chap down, this polystyrene head. It's full of air, and as the pressure increases, the air will be driven out and driven out, and this head will gradually shrink, and we'll see by how much when I come back in eight hours' time. She's going to go in here with actually a load of cups. The, the crew of the Atlantis write little messages on polystyrene cups, and these will also get shrunk by the same amount as polystyrene head girl. So it's, it's a, a, a bubble, basically, that you sit in. All right you just get thrown off the back of a ship and it's got weights on it so it just sinks right it just sinks to the bottom of the ocean and then the way you come up is to drop the weights and you go back up again You have radio contact with the surface, but you, you are an hour and a half minimum from the surface. So, so if, if something happens and you don't like it, then you do have to wait an hour and a half before you pop up to the surface again, because you can't come up any faster. Um, yeah, right now my depth is uh, 1078. Well, yeah, I mean, you're down there for nine hours, and uh, I do, n n no one had a pee. So we've landed after about an hour of descent. We've just stopped in the most incredible place. We've landed on top of the tube worms. Look at those. Amazing things. It's isolated. That that feeling of um, being in a bowl, completely separated from civilization, is is there. And so you, I honestly thought this is what it must actually be like to be on a space mission. It must be like going to the moon. It must be what Apollo astronauts felt when they were in a capsule on the way to the moon. All right, so here's what 200 atmospheres of pressure does to a head. Look at that. Absolutely rock solid. All the air driven out of it. 